Hi everyone, it's Be Divine. Welcome to Divine Miracles and the mini tarot forecast this week for the fire signs. And I'm using everybody's favourite, the tarot um, apocalypsis um, uh, cards for this week. So we've got Aries, Leo and Sagittarius and we need to see what's going to come through. So we're going to start with Aries. Hope you guys are having an awesome week. And it's a full moon, which is cool. Aries. Let's have a look. Aries. Right, that's it. Okay, Aries. You've got the Four of Wands. And you can see this has got sort of an Egyptian theme to the wands which made me happy since I'm a Leo and you've got the ank um, of life sort of tumbling around um, you know we've got Horus here and ooh, Anubis it looks like perhaps um, Horus and Anubis so a lot of things seen and unseen happening for you okay a lot of things going on behind the scenes this also does indicate usually that there is a time of house move there's a time of um, wanting to change locations okay I would I would say this is to do more with a house than a job for example okay so I'm just looking here it's also indicating that there is um, a time of sort of crossing over like you're going from one part of your life to a new part of your life and with that um, you know as you're you're changing um, the way you see things and you're moving forward and you're moving ahead it's almost like the the angels and guides that are around you are sort of doing a little bit of a ritual for you as well to bring you into the new this is a time where you should be proud of yourself for the things that you've been able to achieve um, there may be a new relationship that's just started and this is saying that it's going to be fine you know you need to let go of uh, worry of anything and just enjoy um, it's a time of moving into a totally new cycle, a way of seeing yourself and also perhaps a totally new location for you as well. So go with all these new things with a new mindset and, and trust that you are guided and supported every step of the way as well. So an interesting week for Aries. And now we'll do the cards for Leo. Leo Okay, Leo You've got the five of wands Okay, and this is indicating it's a big hippo there. They're all trying to attack it But as you can see there is a full moon in this and it's showing you that you may be sort of having a lot of conflicting thoughts within yourself you've got some decisions to make or you feel that you've got decisions to make and you're sort of not allowing the flow um, of the universe to help you <laughs> it's like you need to know right now what's going on and it's causing you inner stress you may even have stomach aches and you know diarrhea and things like that from from that inner stress or you know going to bed a little bit earlier or just feeling off within yourself um, and it's only just started to happen uh, but it's because you've got so many things that you're contemplating so many things that you want to do so many places that you need to be so many people that you need to see so many things that you're missing in your life and you're tired of being strong all right and so this card is saying it's okay to you know just stop for a minute and have a bit of a breakdown here is this guy here and stop fighting things that are too big for you to actually know uh, the answer to you know stop fighting those things and just say to yourself look the universe knows what I need the universe is taking care of all the details it's going to be even better than I can imagine so I need to stop worrying about this or thinking about this or stressing over this and allow things to take their course you know 
we all know that things have a way of working out so we just need to let go of this little inner stress at the moment and keep on putting all of our thoughts and feelings over to the angels and our guides the universe um, to the moon and, and speak up um, and allow things to happen in their own timing for everyone's benefit as well so try not to have that internal conflict it's it's going to soon pass the sooner that you talk about it and allow things to actually change okay so that was for Leo and now for Sagittarius so when I'm shuffling I'm focusing on a message for Sagittarius I'm not thinking of anything else Sagittarius Okay, Sagittarius, and you got the King of Pentacles, okay? And this looks like an, an avatar here, um, more Indian, I guess, than Cambodian, but I think it is Cambodian. Okay, so the King of Pentacles is bringing news of, you know, financial situations changing for you, a new boss, a new job. Uh, something that, you know, is going to bring in that little bit more money. Something perhaps you haven't even thought of. Um, but this may happen this week for you. I'm also seeing the, the peacock feather here. And that always tells me that you need to allow yourself to step out um, and shine a little bit more. Step out of your comfort zone. Stop waiting for things to happen to you. Um, and start moving forward into things that you want. You know, move with the energy of what you want rather than what you don't want. I'm also feeling here about sort of manifesting things in your life and the way that things have gone so far you need to know you've manifested it exactly how it is. You know, this is not a thing of, of blaming you for anything or anything like that but, you know, we do manifest things by, um, you know, our thoughts, our actions. Um, you know, how we think is really, really important to, to what happens to us. So, so far you've manifested things the way that they are. So this is a message for you. How do you want the next part of your life to play out? You know, you need to manifest things without expectation of what's going to occur. The more you worry, the more you bring worry towards you. Uh, the more that you see freedom, the more freedom that you get in return. The more you see abundance, the more you, you know, you, that you see yourself with abundance whilst being grateful for that. It's naturally attracted to you. Use the law of attraction to your advantage, you know. Stop looking to others to tell you what to do. This is so important for Sagittarius. You're always unsure of yourself. Um, you know, not all of you, but most are unsure of yourself. And that all needs to stop. That needs to be in the past now. Um, you you realise that you can do things um, and a lot better than you probably thought you could. Okay, so for the message this week, manifest what you desire. Also, remember that um, there may be a new job or a new opportunity, something new beginning this week for you, and that you are supported. Allow yourself to shine as well. Okay, so that was the message for um, Sagittarius, and I hope that you all enjoyed your messages this week. And until the next time, I wish you all many blessings and much much love and it's goodbye for now bye